Hello, hello. Welcome to another video here on my channel. Today, I'd like to chat about how you can change your future without needing a time machine. <laughs> Let's dive into that on this video. Thank you so much for joining me here for yet another video. I hope this one is um, an aha moment one because when I when I read this or, or saw a reel about this, I was like, whoa. <laughs> so I really wanted to share about it. Uh, but before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out all the links in the description box below. We have a link to the online Raw Food Romance community where all the action's going, live raw food classes, and you can watch the replays from all the previous classes in there connect with people, get accountability, and have some fun over there. We have links for the eBooks, the meal planning app, and the print versions of our most popular eBooks, recipe books, and those are on Amazon. So all the links are down below. The code to get 40% off our digital eBooks is rawfood40. So head on down there and see all the goodies, all the resources we have to help you add more raw food to your life. So how do we change our future without using a time machine? Well, it starts right now. So I was watching a reel on Instagram and they were talking about how, you know, basically time travel, the way we imagine it in society is that if you go back in time and you change one thing, like you move something, kind of like the butterfly effect. You move something or you talk to somebody or you inspire somebody or whatever. You do one little tiny thing in the past is apparently, according to our imaginations, is supposed to change the entire future, right? So that's why they say in the fantasy novels is you can't do anything. If you go back in the past, you can't do anything because it'll change the future. Or if they want to change the future, they just go back and they do this one thing and it'll completely change the future. And I was like, that's interesting. So the real continued on to say, why do we in our imaginations can see the value in small changes, but we don't see the value in today's present day? We don't see the value that making these small changes right now can affect our future. If making small changes in the past can affect the future, making small changes in the present right now can also affect our future. So that said, thinking about what we can change today that can ultimately change our futures, these little tiny things that we can do every day, going to bed earlier, getting that workout in, preparing your lunch in advance. These little tiny things change our future. So I found that really mind-blowingly awesome. It was kind of like an aha moment. I just really realized how impactful these little tiny things that we do every day that feel totally insignificant, like, whoa, going to bed five minutes earlier, that's going to make a difference. But it does over time. Every time we do that, it gets better and better. Maybe we move it up to 10 minutes or making our lunches. Yes, it's going to make a difference to the future you. The future you is going to be grateful to the past you for doing the things that you hoped that your past self would do. Like how many of us look back on our past and say, well, if I would have done this and I would have done that and would have changed this and I would have started that habit, how would my life be different today? Well, today is your chance to do that exact thing and change your future. I look back on my life and I'm so grateful to the Lissa from 10 years ago who made the choice to change what she was putting in her body every day, to change what she was choosing to eat and just making that one change. I didn't realize it at the time. I was just making these changes and I wanted to change how I was eating. I wanted to feel better and all of those things. But I didn't realize how dramatic that one change was going to do to my entire life. Now, I'm not saying everybody's complete life is going to completely change by, you know, changing what you eat or whatever. But for me, my entire life changed when I decided to stop eating animal products and, and to stop eating cooked food. Just a simple thing like that. I changed my partner. I changed where I live. I changed my career. Um, my life is completely different. Uh, I changed my health. 
everything in my life is different than it was 10 years ago when I first went raw. And it's because I made that choice and it changed my future. I don't know where I would be right now if I never made those choices. Would I be sicker? Would I be unable to do things? Would I even be on this planet? Would I have had a heart attack? Would I have had some other disease or health issue? I don't know. And we'll never know. That's just something that is a mystery that we'll never really know what our life could have been had we not made certain choices or what it could have been if we do make certain choices. That is a little bit more predictable than what could have been, right? We don't know what could have been, but we can plan for our future and we can try to do things that can change our futures for the better by just starting today. Those little things that we don't think are making a difference are making a difference. We just have to do them consistently and be patient. So thanks for watching this little video. Um, I hope that somebody maybe had like a little aha moment as well, like I did. I just really loved that concept of how if we value time travel and respecting the past by not changing it, because it's going to really alter the future, why don't we put that much value on the things that we're doing right now that we can do to change our futures? So thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out all the resources that we have in the description box below, the online Raw Food Romance community, our eBooks, the meal planning app, and the print versions on Amazon. All the links are down below. Please go check those out. And we will be back tomorrow for another video. Yay. <laughs> I love doing these videos for you. And I hope they're helpful. If they are, click like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we'll be back tomorrow. I love you and fruit on.